Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back to another long overdue episode of the Doc Talks Stocks. Ladies and gentlemen, don't only get the likes up, make sure you get your stocks up as well, because again, our wealth will not build itself. Just wanted to come to you guys real quick with a revelatory moment. I know it's been a while since I talked to you guys, but Doc has had a revelation, and I definitely want to share that revelation with you. So, I'm going to make a video probably in a couple of days or so, maybe, maybe not. It just depends on how I feel. But I've recently undergone a restructuring of my entire portfolio. Um, Me and my mentor, we had a talk the other day and I was like, man, he's making some serious, serious sense in reference to focusing more on a growth style objective perspective portfolio as opposed to the dividend side of that particular portfolio it used to be a healthy balance but now i'm leaning more towards growth than i am dividend but we'll get into that topic a little bit later but i also had a when i'm sorry in the process of me going through the changes in my mind the changes of well should i do this should i keep this should i let go of that should i hold this is this going to be good for the while is this going to grow whatever i came across one anomaly in my dividend i mean in my yeah in my dividend portfolio in my portfolio overall that anomaly was known as spg <laughs> aka simon property group now i struggled to sell this one because as of today as of the recording of this particular video i am up 256 points on spg my positions that i hold not a lot but enough all right and i have seen a healthy return as a result so i've been struggling i was like man does this really have potential to grow does this really have potential to you know stay where it is is it stagnant not necessarily worrying so much about the dividend payout whether they pay it or not but more so about the idea of can this go higher than where it is today and so I decided to read a couple of articles about people who opted to sell SPG. So I was like, ah, shit, maybe I should sell it. But then I was reading articles about how authentic brands is now kind of like the go between between uh, some of the companies that SPG decided to buy out, like your Forever 21s and other places like that. I don't have those names in front in the top of my head right now, but you'll get the point. But I was thinking, I was like, bro, talking to myself. Do I want to keep it or do I want to let it go? Because this was the only one I struggled with. And I mean, even until today, I'm still thinking about it. But I opted to keep it. And the reason why I was noticing a lot of people were opting to sell it, all things considering they had a pretty strong, somewhat strong ending to the you know quarterly report from 2021. But the reason why I noticed a lot of people were selling it was because of the idea they bought it when it was high it crashed and it's still roughly trying to find its way back on the opposite side where i stand i bought it low or i bought it kind of on the somewhat rebound of it coming back so i'm still relatively low in reference to my average share price but a lot of those guys were probably thinking i'm selling it because i had it when it was good the mall reits were effed up and you know all of the sudden you see what's happening to all of these reits and tenants not paying and people going bankrupt and all of this stuff so they were saying look i might as well cut my losses because there's no way in telling when if and when i'm going to get back to my average or if and when things are going to go back to being the same and it was quite obvious i was like man that's actually a fair point because we don't know what's going to happen in the years to come we hope that things start to become a little bit more positive we hope that things start to trend in a positive way but yet and still what do we really know especially when it comes to things like malls because you know some people may be opting to shop outside again but again online shopping since everything has happened has really become the thing to do online shopping has become the thing to do myself included you find me on amazon a lot i wish i had enough money to get amazon stock maybe we'll get into that another day but right now i'm happy shopping online if i need anything you know so i'm 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 kind of at that you know that rock in a hard place when it comes to um dealing with uh, you know spg or assignment property group but i've noticed that reasons why you hear a lot of people now talking about selling it or letting go of it or it was probably a good position for them once upon a time was a the dividend cut i mean we went from what eight dollars to now five thirty five twenty um annual 
which still ain't bad i mean all things considering i mean that's still not bad and the fact that they are trying to get themselves back to that point and they're partnering with authentic brands and things like that these are things that we need to take into consideration these are thoughts that we really need to put in the back of our minds i could understand those that have had it for a long time and they're just not seeing the returns that they wish that they could again i probably wouldn't hold it based on the dividend play because if you held it based on the dividend play you're 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 in, you're definitely taking a risk and the only reason it's a risk is because why you don't know if they're going to cut again or whatever you know maybe profits and the way things are structured right now maybe it would be best for you to sell or for you to look for other things to get into but for myself i've opted to keep it but I, like I said, I've, I've kind of gotten to the point where I understand why people are saying, yo, maybe we need to sell, bro. Maybe we need to get out of it, man, because we don't know what's going to happen with Simon Property Group in the future. But because Simon Property Group for myself, and I'm only speaking for myself because I'm able to view it in my own dividend, I mean, in my own portfolio overall, I'm up 256 points. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not bad. And rather than me go ahead and cut myself short, why not see where it's going to go? All right. So that's my talking point of the day, ladies and gentlemen. I know it took me a while to get to the point, but let me go ahead and put it out there. If you've bought low and you're holding low, give things a chance to work themselves out. We already know value investors hold things for the long term. Give it five years, 10 years. I mean, same with your positions in at and and stuff like that. If you bought a and t around the $28, $26 range, there's really no reason for you to sell it now if you averaged down into at&t but you're still seeing fairly any returns i mean you're just basically using it utilizing it as a dividend play definitely you have to think about where you want to do where you want to put it and what you want to do with it okay so that's just my talking point of the day guys and i hope that you found some valuable information in reference to how people are choosing to not necessarily trade but get in and out of certain positions again i've struggled with spg i have i've only held spg right now uh, a few months man i can't really put a pin it but i think it was probably about three months or less no 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 i had it longer than december um probably about maybe anywhere between like five months or so probably about the range in which i've had spg and i just had like maybe a few shares or so and then only recently did i decide to up my position and when I did up my position, guess what? <laughs> it did something I never thought it would do. It had a bounce back. And it's bouncing in the right direction. All right? Hope this found you well, man. Again, ladies and gentlemen, don't only get the likes up. Make sure you get your stocks up as well. Why? Our wealth will not build itself. All right? It's been a good time to talk stocks. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay true. Be easy. Peace.